Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lab. So till now we have done the structural programming. In other words, we have used the functions to write the programs. From this tutorial onwards, we're going to start learning the object oriented programming. So the main feature of C++ is object oriented programming. Apart from whatever we learn in C, the entirely new thing is this object oriented feature. So we're going to start learning the object oriented programming by learning about the classes and objects. So first of all, what are these classes and objects? So let's think about a real world example. Let's say you want to write a program on human beings. So the humans has the attributes. For example, every human has a name and every human has his own sex. Every human has his own height, weight, etc, etc. And also the human does some activities. For example, say the human talks, the human eats, the human walks. And somehow, if we can combine these activities and the actions under one name or under one place, then it's gonna be very easy to write the programs. So a class is a user-defined data type which allows us to group the activities and the actions together. Or if we think these classes as a data type, then this class is a user-defined data type which allows us to combine the data and the actions that are gonna performed on that data together. You know, our human example, where the human has the attributes, name, sex, height, and uh, the actions that he walks, he eats, the, he talks. So we can combine all these attributes under one data type and that is called class in C++. Okay, now we're gonna see how to write a class in your program. Okay, the first thing is we're gonna declare the class outside this main function. If we do that, then we can access that class in whatever the functions we write in our program. That's why we're gonna declare that outside all the functions. So if you declare it inside a function, then it's gonna be available to that function only. Okay, to define a class or to declare a class, you need to write the keyword class and then the class name. For example, let's say human being. So the class name is going to be human being. You know, while naming the class name, people always start with the capital letters. And if, if that class name consists of two words, then the second word will also be capitalized like this human being. All right, then a pair of curly braces and then the semicolon. And now the variables and the functions that we're gonna declare or define in between these curly braces are considered as the members of this class. It's similar to the definition or the declaration of a structure. Now the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is about the access specifiers. An access specifier tells where whatever the functions and data we have declared in this class will be available whether it is available outside this class or whether it is available only inside this class all these things so if you don't understand don't worry you know in the next tutorial it's going to be very clear so here we're going to write public and a colon not a semicolon so this public is an access specifier here which tells to the C++ that okay whatever we're gonna write after this public can be accessed from this class and also from outside this class. It means we can access all the public features of a class from all the functions which are written outside the functions you know which are not a member of a class. So in other words, we can say that, you know, if you take our human being example, every human has some secrets and, uh, you know, we don't want that secret to be known to the outside people. We want only some information that should be known to other peoples. So when, when we say public here, you know, whatever we write next to this, it's going to be available to all the functions that we use in our program or that is available outside this class. All right, 
so the next thing that we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to write a function only a function you know since this is our first tutorial and uh, that function is going to display a message so i'm going to call it as void then display no return types no return values and no parameters and then the definition of the function body and we say hello i'm a human being all right uh, okay the next thing that i want to teach you is about the objects so this class is the blueprint or the data type but an object is the real world scenario object is a variable of a class so this class just defines the properties and the actions and creating a object allows us to allows us to store the values in that and also perform or call the functions all right and if we talk about this object at variables then it's, it's nothing but just a variable from a data type for example you know we were creating a variable of type int here this int is a data type and a is a variable similarly an object is a variable of a class so an object is nothing but the runtime scenario of a class or a runtime variable of a class all right to declare an object in your program first we need to write the class name that is human being and then the variable or the object name so in this case i'm gonna say anil so now we have an object of the class human being similar to the declaration of the variables and the next thing is about accessing the data or the functions and the variables defined in the class so here to access this display function written in this class definition first we need to write the object name it's going to be anil and then the dot operator and then the c plus plus knows what to call that's the display function and add a semicolon and save it and i'm going to build and run this program it says hello i'm a human being so so one more time a class is a user defined data type which acts like a blueprint for creating more and more objects of it and uh, to define a class in our program we're going to use the class keyword and then we need to specify the class name and then the definition of the class and access specifier tells whether a class member or the function defined in a class is available outside the class or not and to create an object we need to specify the class name first and then the name of the object and to use the members of a class we need to use the dot operator so this is it guys this is about the introduction to the classes and in the next tutorial we're gonna learn some more thing about the classes and objects thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial